singer-songwriter Dan Rodriguez is creating quite a buzz. In September, Budweiser released the commercial featuring Dan's song, When You Come Home. And tonight, you're going to check him out in the on-the-fly concert car. Nice cold day. So you played a guitar with a seatbelt on before? I've never played a guitar with a seatbelt on. Uh, safety first. This is interesting. So we first saw you in the in that Budweiser. Well, saw your music. Yeah. In that Budweiser commercial. Yeah. So do you get like a lifetime supply of Budweiser? Is that how that works? <laughs> uh, I, d I don't. It wasn't part of my agreement. Oh. So you need a better agent. <laughs> so what? I, I mean, what a great starting place for a huge for a career. Yeah. I mean, I mean you, were, you were already performing before that, mm -hmm. but what a great way to get known. Yeah, it's a, it's a cool platform for exposure. For me, uh, you know, I was, I've been doing this for years now, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm about to begin starting, I'm work on my fourth album, so wow. for me, uh, I don't think about it as a starting point, but it definitely is a, is a step into a cool platform for, uh, for some exposure and a cool opportunity. Well, you've got four albums, so you've got to have some sort of uh, fan base going on right now. Did you get a lot of response as soon as people heard your voice in that commercial? Yeah, so uh, a lot of the people that have been listening to my music for years uh, said a lot of positive things along the lines of uh, getting the recognition you deserve and uh, I'm, I knew you win, that type of thing. But uh, I also had uh, several hundred Facebook friend requests. Oh yeah, right away. The weekend that it came out. and. Yeah. Uh, I had, I changed my name on Facebook. I Did had, you? I had to hide because oh. I was getting it was it was getting out of control. But uh, it was it was really cool to be able to to see what it what it, what it started to develop from there. So the next album before we play your uh, before we, uh, we perform the song here. Sure. What what, what 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 kind of music are we talking about here? Well, uh, I'm where, doing, where I'm, are you? I'm taking a step point? that I've never taken before, and uh, I'm I'm not just recording in basement of a Minneapolis friend's house. I'm going down to Nashville. Oh, wow. Uh, and uh, in just a few weeks from this moment, um, I'll be going down there to Studio Shop and find the right place for for the next record. And uh, and, and we want to do it the right way. And what about uh, performing live? What's, uh, are, you, are you a studio guy or do you like being on stage? I'm a performer. Yeah. I love being on stage. I love being in front of people. Um, I, I tour a lot of in, in the summertime, playing different festivals and venues, usually outside of Minnesota, but also also here in Minneapolis. But uh, but yeah, I love I love performing. I love being in the studio and doing that, and translating what I've been writing and what I've been working on uh, into something that is more formidable and more established. As this is what the song is going to be from now on. But uh, but getting out and performing is that's. That's my thing. That's just my thing. Well, I'm proud to give you the strangest, smallest, and uh, most <laughs> unusual concert venue in the history of all concert venues. Uh, what song are you going to do for us first? Uh, well, I had a, a couple of different thoughts, but um, I, I thought maybe I should sing something off of my most recent album. Okay. Uh, that that way I'm, I'm not giving too much information away about what's going to be on the newest record, but uh, but the most recent one that came out last year. Okay, well let's hear it. 